at the end. And the data embedding system uh, divides the uh, map grid into small blocks and uh, makes pair of the blocks. And the blue gradation level of each block pair is sampled and changed to show the uh, to show the data bit. And uh, if if one is assigned to the data bit, uh, light level is greater than left level. And um, if one is assigned to the a block pair, a blue level is changed so that the uh, left level is greater than the right level. And um, in order to the retain the email quality, if the difference from the original gravitation level exceeds a predefined threshold, the blue level will remain unchanged. And uh, another point of our embedding system is uh, that the data bit strings are embedded n times repeatedly from top to bottom. And then, in, in the final steps, a uh, map image is that is reconstructed with data embedding grid is printed using a color printers. As, as for color printers, home inkjet printers and commercial color printings can be used. And now uh, I shall show you how to recognize uh, data embedded maps. And the decoder works on the mobile phones. They, they have four decoding steps. And in the first decoding step, a de first decoding step is uh, detecting the map grid from black, black lines using a half transformation. And in the, in the second, second step, acquires uh, data bit strings from the data grid by comparing yellow shading patterns. And the decoder computes the screen position of all of embedded blocks and make a list of pro level of them. And then for each block pair, 0 and 1 and 2 is specified for comparing the com comparing the blue levels. Then the data strings or all, all block pairs are generated. And the, in the third steps, the data, data bit strings uh, is divided into n parts and the majority vote of those n parts decide the data bit strings. In these figures, red numbers are collected by majority vote. And the last, and the last steps, a decoder detects and collects the errors in the data bit strings by decoding a PCH code. In these figures, red set numbers are collected. And then, um, embedded data can be acquired. After decoding the embedded data, the decoder initializes and provides an API for georeference of screen positions. And this is using a homographic transformation from a screen XY position of four corners, four, grid, four corners of grid, and latitude and longitude coordinates of four corners of the grid. For example, this this screen position translates to the latitude and longitude coordinates using these APIs. Now, now I'll show you the another demonstration videos. We we have developed uh, two applications using these technologies. And first is uh, I, I have already shown the first videos, and this this video shows the content browsers. And in the video, oh sorry, in the videos, uh, our photos and text information are overlaid on the paper mass and tracking the latitude and longitude coordinates. And, and this is an example for using this application for learning geography for children. 
and uh, name of the city and uh, specialty crops of fish and uh, fruits are uh, overlaid on the screen. And when using uh, maps for learning geography, children write a uh, write name of the city like this. But, uh, but, and our technologies can uh, can recognize even if there are even if the map is overwrite like this. Now I'll show the implementation using these videos and we use a mobile phone, a T00 phone by Toshiba. This is a T00 phone for and the CPU is Snapdragon 1 GHz and the camera image size is VGA. And as for a paper maps, we use an A3 size Japan map and the camera Kamakura City map. And the printer is, as a printer, an Epson PMG4, Epson, PM, uh, Epson Infinite printer is used. And we have evaluated the performance of these applications. And the speed of the recognition is 72 milliseconds. That is very high speed. And 58 milliseconds is for detecting a grid. And 40 milliseconds for the left. And the error correcting rate of the, by the BCH, BCH and majority board is a maximum of about 30%. 30% is the uh, same as the uh, error correcting rate of QR codes. And uh, if, if you overwrite a uh, map image using a pen like this, this, this map uh, can be recognized because uh, data loss is 23%. So the error correcting rate of 30% of error collecting rate is enough to recognize uh, when even if we override the uh, on the map. So now I'll let's show the our system needs the requirements. Um, our approach uses uh, mobile phones and uh, more than 300 camera phones sold in Japan can de decode the FP code that uses the same uh, uniform method of yellow, that, that is a uh, yellow shading patterns. And uh, as for paper maps, uh, our method can use a number of pairs of printings and papers, including a commercial offset printing used for gui guidebooks. And about uh, providing uh, scalable recognition, our, uh, our approaches can recognize uh, paper maps even if there are, they have the uh, same drawing patterns. And we have confirmed that uh, there are no, no false recognition by sim simulation. In the, in the simulations, over 18,000 map grids are decoded in the sim simulation. The negative point of our, of our system is uh, it needs uh, alternation, alternation of paper maps. So, so this is partially yes. So towards the problem, um, we we are now uh, we are now collaborating with uh, Japanese major map publishers to adapt their guidebooks to these embedding systems. Now, I'll show you the summaries. A uh, too, too practical use of map recognition technology for augmented paper maps, it should be a two requirement. And first is be a, uh, the system is applicable to ordinary mobile phones and paper maps. And the second requirement is providing a scalable recognition. 
And we have developed a technology for directly recognizing latitude and longitude coordinates from paper maps printed with the yellow shaded patterns. And the implementation provides a real-time recognition is possible and the technology meets the requirements. That's all. Thank you very much.